This is part two of the Calcite Southern Colorado location. Just thought we'd walk up through the wash. It's a pretty cool site. It's almost kind of like a little Grand Canyon. So thought we'd just tore our way up and see what we find. That's a nice little piece right there. This is kind of cool because it kind of winds up back through here. Go straight on up. Wouldn't want to fall from up there. Wouldn't want to be in a storm when it gets going through here too. You get washed out pretty quick. So I'm kind of looking for crystals and stuff down on the bottom of this wash. Because, you know, theory says larger items are going to fall down over time and kind of collect in this wash. It almost looks like a piece up there, don't it? That white piece. I don't think it's worth risking my life. It's kind of always one of those things that we always talk about rock hunting. Is it worth grabbing? Is it worth going that extra foot or stretched out arm? In most cases, no, because usually you find another piece 10 feet ahead of you. This is just a really neat location because there's all these little valleys through here. And that's really the best spot to look for some of these calcite or just any crystals in general. Because they just kind of collect when the water comes through and the water kind of just pushes these little pathways down. And that usually uncovers a lot of crystals. Or at least a little pocket of crystals and from there you know what you got to do. Dig it up. I'm not finding too much. Mostly sandstone. It is neat though, ain't it? That's a nice little vein right here. Check this guy out. Just an okay little one, you know. Personally not worth keeping for me. I know you guys are gonna be laughing. But with how much is here, it's one of those things. If you really feel heavy on a piece, you can keep it. Hold it in your hand till you find another piece because you will find a better piece. Ooh. A fun little spot to come up, huh? huh? Let's check out this big piece up here. Pretty sure it's just sandstone, but... You never know, a lot of this stuff looks like it's nothing and you turn it on its side and you find something. Yeah, nothing. Too bad, huh? We can kind of see this piece is up through here. I can kind of tell it because of the bands and because of that pedal design like I was talking about earlier. It really just stands out. And speaking of little pedals, check this spot out. I know it's kind of in the shade, but kind of find that pedals that we're looking at. It's almost like somebody left this little pile here, which could have very easily been. They took cover because it's right under a tree and, uh, you know, had to, had to run away from their little stash, unfortunately. Nothing too fantastic. I mean, a couple of these are really nice for your display case. They're just kind of neat. You know, that pedal design you just don't see all the time. So it is pretty neat. I think I might take this guy. This guy is pretty. I just love that design. Ain't that pretty? All right, we're gonna keep continuing on. Anything down here? You kind of see some pieces through here. A piece right there. A piece right there. I mean, it's funny. I'm trying to pinpoint pieces, but really, I mean, it's everywhere once you get your eye trained. It's just pieces everywhere.
nice day in Colorado though. I mean, we're kind of done with the snow for a little bit. Everything is kind of muddy, as you can still tell by my foot. It's kind of muddy, but I mean, 60 degree day, can't beat it. Day from Halloween too. Usually every year around this time, it always gives us snow right on Halloween day, but it looks like it's gonna be dry this year. At least that storm came about a week early, which is okay with me. Well, cool guys, I'm pretty much out of that little uh, Grand Canyon, Colorado Grand Canyon. And uh, I guess I'll let you guys go. Decided I'd show you and give you a little walk through. So I'll leave you with a, a nice piece. Thank you guys. See you next time.